Apollo 69. What is up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, today is finally a new video versus one that I filmed previously and I'm just now getting around to upload it. This one is the first one that I've done for a good week or two where uh, it's on time and it's uh, actually this is a bonus video I just remembered. Um, but today's video is going to be talking about some stuff uh, with the truck. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, this is my 03 Sport Track XLS. Um, with, the, of course, some of the modifications this truck has actually been quite a lot of attention lately on the Sport Track pages, which I love. Uh, welcome, guys, if you're new from there, because I did get a shout out off of the uh, Sport Track Nation page on there on Instagram recently. So if you're new, hello, welcome. Um, today's video, we'll be talking about a ton of stuff coming for the truck very soon. Uh, I ordered a couple of things, two of which are non-car like car related things. Actually, I've got one right in my pocket. The other is, uh, well, on the way here. And the other thing is actually a mod that will be here, oh crap, um, here in the near future. So let's get into it. So first things first, what did I order? <laughs> so the first thing that come in was uh, a little bit of YouTube merch. And uh, usually I'm the type where I don't usually purchase YouTube merch, but this time, for especially for someone that I've watched for a very long time and is uh, the inspiration for a lot of my automotive content that I've done, uh, a lot of you guys can tell inspiration through, you know, the way I do my car review videos to uh, some of the stuff I've done to the truck even. Um, well, here it is. This is a That Dude in Blue Smiles Per Gallon key tag. Now, I know it doesn't seem like much, but like I said a minute ago, That Dude in Blue is kind of the inspiration for my automotive content, where all the auto vlogs come from, the way I've done car videos in the past, uh, such as the recording myself using a dash cam kind of thing. Uh, not really a dash cam, but like a camera mounted to the windshield. Um, the way I do my car reviews, uh, very similar style to him. And of course that's cause, well, he was an inspiration for the work. And, uh, I'll tell you straight up that it's very similar to his content minus the way that I do the review and, you know, riding the passenger seat versus driving, which is going to change, you know, starting with the Mustang and the, in the Hyundai Genesis reviews, I'll be driving, you know, for the reviews, uh, the most of them, at least there'll be me still maybe a few, or I'll be riding a uh, shotgun instead of uh, driving. But that's the first thing I ordered was this uh, key tag. I took the lanyard off for now because uh, it looked kind of overkill with the lanyard as well. Um, so I was like, I'll just put it on the keys and uh, rock it for a couple of days with just the tag. And then uh, if I don't like it, just the tag, I'll go back to using the lanyard with it. Um, that's kind of that. The other things I ordered, I ordered, I did order a t-shirt as well. That's the same uh, style, the Smiles for Gallon logo and all that stuff. Um, like I said, I'm just supporting the guy that's inspired the content for the last uh, four years or so. Um, I would say three because, you know, sport track content just started uh, two years ago. So, but anyway, that's kind of that. So I ordered the t-shirt. I've got the key tag already. What else did I order? Well, we're going to the truck now to do that. Um, we're going to, I've actually backed in because of uh, what happened two weeks ago and, you know, I don't need any unlawful pictures on my license plate taken. So. We're gonna go ahead and pop open the door and go inside and uh, go from there. So, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, a key to the century system. As you can see, uh, well, as you not, well, you can't really see, but as you probably may know about the classic sport track, um, when I say classic, I mean the generation one, your 2001 to 2005. They actually, if you get an XL or XLS, more than likely do not come with keyless entry. Uh, this Okay, I got distracted a little bit by some messages that I keep getting on my phone and that I can't ignore. Anyway, uh, the Sport Track with the XL and XLS does not come with keyless entry if you buy the uh, classic, the 01 to 05, the Gen 1s. Um, if you got an XL or XLS, like I said, if you had an XLT or a first gen adrenaline or STA, as some of us like to call them, um, then yeah, you of course would have keyless entry. But for me, since I have basically the XL, the work truck, the XLS, uh, pardon the center console as well, that's uh, probably confusing a lot of you, but it's custom. Um, I don't have keyless entry, so I ordered a keyless entry system from Walmart out of all places because I didn't want to spend, you know, uh, too much money and I wanted one that had a remote that I found attractive and wasn't too similar to the standard remote. Now, as you can tell, uh, as you've probably seen in the background of some of, of uh, my keys and my videos, I actually do have a remote. And this was because I paid eight bucks for it, no big deal, lost of money. Um, but I, I thought I could put this thing in the program mode and, and, you know, program this remote to work on keyless entry. I was wrong. <laughs> this thing doesn't even have a program mode. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, as I, I've, well, what I've already done is I've ordered the complete keyless entry system. It comes with a module, the antenna, the remotes, everything that works perfectly. And the only thing we really got to do is just tap in to this door and uh, tap into these controls right here uh, to, well, wire the locks in. Um, 
and then we'll have full keyless entry uh we're gonna have to wire up the trunk release button the remote comes with to something else uh they do have a rising power window function which is interesting um but uh, i don't know if i'm gonna make any use of that but uh, that's basically that uh as well as some other things that i've got going on so as well let's go ahead and move into that last thing why don't we and we're gonna sit inside of here because it's cold and it's out warm in here get my head on the roof <laughs> um okay so now we're inside the truck <laughs> And the last thing I'll talk about is lowering the truck. Now, a lot of you guys know that uh, I've been plotting this out for months, getting this thing lowered. And uh, well, the time is finally upon us. I have all the pieces that I need to get the job done. I have the Beltac Nitro uh, uh, Twin 2 Performance Shocks, uh, or Drop Shocks, just to you know clarify, as well as the uh, Moo Camber Caster Kit. So that what's left now is well getting the job done and a set of custom use custom u-bolts because uh of course the u-bolts we got in the belt sack block kit that i ordered last year uh they were kind of small <laughs> they were a little too short and when i contacted the seller to you know either to just get new u-bolts uh they were like you know they kind of complained that i was wanting to send it back and uh, they were like you're gonna have to pay you know 15 percent restocking which i believe is around 15 to 25 dollars somewhere in that zone i'm not good at math so don't judge me um, I just did not want to pay money for something that I can't use, you know, to send something back I can't use. So I was just like, you know, screw it. I'll keep the block kit I have and get custom U-bolts and be done with it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to get the rear end completely torn down. Um, by the rear end, I mean the uh, axles disconnected from the U-bolts that it has. Go ahead and get the blocks positioned and then go out and get a set of U-bolts using the stock ones as kind of our template and then get three inch longer ones that'll work for the truck's suspension. Once we get that done, uh, we'll be ready to go. We'll drop the front end, install the new Beltac shocks, and then of course take it to get an alignment done, which will be done relatively quick. And in case you're wondering what method we're doing to drop the front end, we looked for drop spindles, which is our original plan. Uh, me and my dad looked for several months for drop spindles, but we cannot find it. So our only option is to do the reverse torsion twist. And a lot of people are saying it's a bad idea that you'll run into some sponginess on the front suspension. Uh, that's kind of why I bought the shocks in the first place, besides the fact that my rears are fried. Um, as you can probably hear when I drive the truck around, uh, if you've ever seen it in person, uh, you'll hear they'll hear, you'll hear them squeak a lot. Um, I felt it'd be just right to get those anyway for not only the rear being fried, but for the fact that it's going to be a bit spongier up front and keeping it with drop shocks is going to help stiffen that up a little bit. Um, and of course, well, you know, the, the camera caster kit, hopefully, you know, adding some uh, stiffness in there as well. I don't think it will, but I don't really know a lot about suspension, so that's kind of that. Um, but that's kind of what's going to go on. Uh, that will be happening in between April 25th, no, March 25th and april 2nd i believe is somewhere in that time zone so we got about another few weeks or so um well it will be done before the next caffeine and octane i can tell you that <laughs> um i won't be there uh, i still have to you know get some other stuff sorted before this thing will go to caffeine and octane which will be its own video of uh, driving my sport track to caffeine and octane for the first time um but i also have some other stuff going on i'm gonna have to get the timing chains well dealt with as well during that time period uh, late March, early April. Um, I'm gonna. I called around to a couple shops. Uh, one in particular followed me on Instagram recently, and I think I'm probably gonna wind up taking it to them. They give me such a great quote uh, in comparison to the first shop, which is literally right down the street. Uh, they quoted me around two thousand dollars to get the time, just to replace the timing chains. Um, the shop quoted me near eight hundred, which is great. It's a huge price price gap, but uh, it's, it's. I mean, if it's legit. It's a great price, so I can't argue with that. But uh, that's kind of that. Um, and of course, I might have some something else in the works. Um, kind of hinting at it with well, the key tag and the uh, the T-shirt that'll be happening uh, later on this year, hopefully. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this rather short video. Um, that's kind of that with the truck. Like I said, uh, the new keyless entry system should be here next week. So I'll have an install video hopefully on that very soon. Probably next weekend we'll get to work on installing it. But that'll be that. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another video on the channel. Like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.